Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Key to the Kingdom by Is for Shooting. Let's see. Difficulty level, pathetic, easy, mediocre, medium. What? Which one? Pick one! <laughs> oh, oh, I see. This one's the one that's picked. Okay, I see on the scale here. I was confused about that, because this, this is a heading, and then this is not a heading. <laughs> Even though they have the same styling except for the underline. Alright, let's see. The majority of this test is easy to medium difficulty, however, the final part of the solution will not be obvious to most people. It is simple to execute, but may be difficult to recognize. The Great Puzzle has an easy to execute solution, but it will be difficult to figure it out. For those of you who don't know, with puzzle games, you want your execution to be easy, and you want to hide the solution in plain sight, and make it really tricky for the person to figure out what they need to do. But without, without, you know, making the test all confusing. You need to hide stuff in plain sight. They need to have all the information they need to solve the puzzle. And they just have to figure it out. That's the mark of a good puzzle. Let's see. Once you are able to leave entrance area, there is no need to go back to that area again. The laser does not hurt you in the horizontal funnel, but it does in the vertical funnel for some reason. But you don't need to be in a vertical funnel anyway, so don't worry about it. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, only horizontal lasers are harmless. Ola. Yeah, that's how you remember it. O-H-L-A-H. -H. Only horizontal lasers are harmless. And that's because in the game, when they were testing it, uh, you know the part of the game where it tells you to jump over lasers? Playtesters were burning their feet even though they jumped, and so they just- they just added in a special exception for horizontal lasers that makes it so that if you're not touching the ground, the laser won't hurt you. But if the laser is even at a slight angle, uh, above that's not horizontal, then it will hurt you no matter what. Yeah, so yeah. Interesting fun fact. This test does not require any glitches or split-second maneuvers or spectacular dumps, nor does it require any standing upon throwing or stacking of cubes. If you find yourself pondering such things, then you are off track. Although, if you can break the intense solution somehow, please do so and let me know. Good luck, I hope you enjoy it. Well, that was an excellent description for shooting. Let's get going. What's this do? Gives me a laser cube that immediately gets into the funnel. And we have... Interesting little area over here. Huh. So what do we want this laser cube to do? Anything. Is there... There is. Except funnels turning it in a weird way. There we go. That's how you want it. Come on. And then, like, this. Oh, nope, like this. Uh, this. There we go. And then what? Guess we'll come back for that guy later? Guess so. Alright, so now... That over there. Hello. Oh crap. <laughs> Forgot about that. There we go. So, now that we're over here, there is that guy. There's also this. Get this another laser cube. Interesting. This gets us an edge of safety cube. Which scares me. Because we're gonna have to use it somewhere else. <laughs> I don't know where. 
That is really quite quite frightening. This is also scary right here. <laughs> Do some experimenting here. Does this hit? Yes, it does. So let's try this. Oh, nope, that's, uh, mm, yeah. <laughs> let's just pretend I wasn't standing in the funnel when I did that. And then let's head over here. Yeah, so you can stand here, right? Yes. Do this. safety cube. Why must you be so... endless... unsafe? still, eventually. At some point in the near future. Whatever. <laughs> I just hope it doesn't block my laser again. This time let's not stand in the way of the funnel. There we go. Okay, so this is the tricky part. I, okay, I see what's going on here. Huh. Because the funnel... is an issue. It's not gonna let us put the... edge of the safety cube in. Yeah, that's an issue. <laughs> oh wait, what? Oh, we bugged the door out. We bugged the door out, everybody, but that's not the solution. this fizzler, as far as I can see. Nor this fizzler. I could definitely get it in there. But... why? What is that for? I sure hope, I sure hope, we don't need to create a floating laser cube. Cause that would be annoying. Alright, well let's, let's just try this real quick. Oh, and I didn't even leave the cube in a good spot anyway, so... We gotta go fix that real quick. Portal here, portal... Uh, I think this one, right? Yep. Oh, but here's the conundrum. 
Oh, okay. That's that's not so bad. Maybe. No, okay, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> hey, wait a second, that worked? I could've walked over th during that time. Let's try that again. Let's try this. I think it does have to be at an angle in order to activate it for a longer amount of time. Let's try that. Yes, kinda. Ah, no. Well, so much for that. That was so close, though. Do I really have to do it when it's not at an angle so that it hits this? Might be possible. I thought I thought it had to be at an angle for it to be long enough amount of time. That's not even gonna work. Yeah, that is never gonna work. How would you do that? I don't think that's it. Cause it said it wouldn't require any ninja maneuvers or anything like that, so that- that can't be it. is challenging. Oh, I can get the cube in there, and then I could do myself second. Okay, why didn't I do that? Thought I had to do them both at the same time, but obviously not. Yeah, we'll just- we'll just do one and then the other. Simple. Yeah, there you go. That's how you do it. Move this out of the way. And then we'll do ourselves. Wait, actually I didn't- I didn't- I put that in a bad spot. You be there, thank you. Alright, 
So we've done that, right? Then what? Also, that door is still bugged. Let me fix that. Alright, ball, you're getting out of here. Thank you. So if we do that... Will that hold the ball in? I wonder. I don't think so. Yeah, that's not gonna work at all. now. And... nope. <laughs> nope, that's never gonna work. That is not ever gonna work. I don't think that's the solution either. Just for reference. That's way too finicky to be the solution. Oh my gosh, this door. This door just loves getting bugged out. What impresses me is that it manages to float even without the laser. That's- that's something I have not seen happen before. How is it still floating without a laser? I guess because it's in the funnel and it still doesn't think it needs to update the physics at all? That is bizarre. Okay, well it's definitely not that. What else could it be, though? I have the cube in here, and I feel like I'm supposed to have gotten the cube in here. The final part of the solution will not be obvious to most people. It is simple to execute, but maybe difficult to recognize. Simple to execute, difficult to recognize. I feel like I'm at that part, and I don't understand what I'm doing. Oh, 
that didn't do what I wanted it to do. line of reasoning here. What could it be, though? <laughs> I don't really understand what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. This funnel. Simple to execute, difficult to recognize. There's no way for me to block the funnel. Whatever I've been trying is not simple to execute. Heck, why would there even be a portal surface here if we're not meant to use it? And it doesn't require any glitches. Respawn the ball. What is even the purpose of the ball? Other than to make it annoying to deal with. I am so thoroughly confused right now, guys. <laughs> I'll try it anyway. If we do... this, right? There's no way to get it to stay pointing there, though. And it's supposed to be simple to execute. What am I missing? I got the ball in here and put it on the catcher to try and stop so I could like angle this thing. That that doesn't feel at all like it'd be easy to execute. This is not easy to execute. And 
There's no comments. Does not require any glitches, or split-second maneuvers, or spectacular jumps. No standing upon, no throwing or stacking of cubes. Well, you got me. I definitely do not recognize what I'm supposed to do here. I think that's right. But I'll try it anyway. At least the ball does not auto respawn, which is nice. Nope, that is definitely not it. There is no way that's working ever in a million years. Whatever. Doesn't matter. The solution does not require staying on cubes anyway. Now I can interact with the cube again? How did I fix it? Weird. That's relevant. I don't know. At this point, I'm just gonna give up, because I have no idea what to do. I do not see... any sort of reasonable... solution. You have stumped me, sir. Alright, well guys, we're gonna have to continue this some other time. Let's see, save. Uh... Is for shooting dash king. There we go. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. You can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the video that look like, uh, these right here. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!